Hey, here's your movie box back. Oh, thanks so much, babe. Listen, I owe you an apology. Apology? For what? I was Kurt. Just plain Kurt. And here you are delivering movies for me. You deserve better. It's okay. No one can be perked up all the time. So, any idea what caused it? Business is slow. More than slow. I mean, the Flick Shack is in real trouble. That movie box kind of was my last-ditch marketing effort. Nothing's worked so far. Ouch. I can imagine that causes quite a bit of stress. I've had kind of a stressful job situation myself recently, so I can definitely relate. Really? How'd you deal with it? <laughs> I came here. Change of scenery, huh? Hmm. Anyway, enough whining. Let me make up for my stupid behavior and reward you for your diligent movie fairying, my lady. Reward me? Yep. I've got... Ta-da! Coupons! They're one of the few perks this job has. I get to take myself and a plus one to a free movie of my choice at the new cinema in Astoria. Valid tonight only. What? You mean like a date? Oh, you post people in your labels. But hey, if you want to call it that, sure. So what'll it be, Missy? You in or you out? <laughs> I'd love to. I'm in. Great. Pick you up at your place at eight. I know where you live. <laughs> anyway, gotta get back to it. Bye. Bye. This is fun! It's been ages since I've been to the movies. Well, they call it the movies, plural. But of course, we can only see one movie at a time. So, which one will it be? You pick. You're the expert. That's exactly why I want you to choose. The choice of innocent eyes. Alright, let's see. Big Trouble in Little China, Blue Velvet, or the Great Mouse Detective. At least give me some guidance, though, like... What do you know about Big Trouble in Little China? It's supposed to be a pretty good ass-kicking. Most John Carpenter movies are pretty exciting, at least. He's the guy who made Halloween and The Thing. Nothing too deep, but should be entertaining. What's Blue Velvet about? Apparently it's noir, with a surrealist twist. I once saw a film by this director called Eraserhead, which was, well, weird. Unsettling, too. From what I've heard, this new one is quite... memorable, as well. Alright, I'm ready to pick. Blue Velvet. Good choice. This is going to be... interesting. <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of speechless, and that's rare for me. It certainly was something. I loved it, and I never want to see it ever again. <laughs> yeah, that about covers it. It's certainly singular. At one point, I did begin to wonder, do you think Providence Oaks has a seedy underbelly? Don't think so. Haven't found any ears lying around during my rounds. <laughs> <laughs> well, give it time. So anyway... My parents' house is right down this road, as you well know. Yeah, let's move! <laughs> I wish I loved anything half as much as you love movies. Next time we'll do something in your area of expertise. What, computer software? Yeah, we can build a killer robot or something. I like the sound of next time, by the way. <laughs> Oops, what a slip of the tongue. 
So, here we are. Now what? Well, we could have a cup of tea at my place. I would like that. I think we know what that creepy Frank Booth character would be thinking right about now.